see what they listen to out here in these streets. Okay. So, you know, man, I'm on my way to the airport right now. We just got done taping UFC Primetime 177. I'm going up against Rashad Evans for the light heavyweight division belt. You already know what it is, man. I'm in a rental right now. So, you know, I'm on my way to departures. You guys know I do not like parking in the economy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the car out front and let him bill me. Because <laughs> I'm riding around and getting it like that. You feel me? But let's go to Canada. See what I got against my idol. My... You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan. I'm a fanboy. It's all good. But I'm going to see y'all at weigh-ins. First on the scale is the challenger. Two oh five for the challenger. Instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things started. Are you ready to fight? The are King. Ready? Rashad Evans. Round one is Man, I feel like I could roof a nigga right now. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's iPod King Carter, the Superman of YouTube. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, what it be like, y'all? Uh, right now I'm fighting up against Rashad Evans for this belt. It's only one thing on my mind: knock this man out. <laughs> it's that simple. I'm not going for any submissions this game. It seems like I, I'm telling you guys, I've been trying and I've been trying and I've been trying, and nobody wants to submit to me, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it no matter who I fight. I even fought people and practice mode and try to submit him it didn't work trust me so i guess i'm not the submission type of guy but i'll tell you what i'm good at in this ufc shit ground and pound i definitely can ground and pound the hell out of somebody man because you know it's not it's not hard to take them down you know once i take them down to the ground all you got to do is just keep punching keep fighting for you know position and you get the win it's that simple now in this match i think i'm like 31 and 0 right now and I don't see myself losing before I retire. Like, this right here is going to be my third belt if I can pull out this win. But right now, it looks like Rashad isn't giving me much of a... Oh, hold up. Never mind. <laughs> All right. At first, it looked like he wasn't giving me any competition. But right now, he, you know, he's throwing his low haymakers. But I got something for that, man. We going back to the clinch. I'm going to try to take this guy down. Try to get a knockout. And see what I can do. He's stuffing everything, but it's all good. I got this handle, y'all. But... Like I was saying, man, um, this will be my light heavyweight division belt. Once I grab this, I don't know what's next. Because it says you can only fight in, I think, three divisions for every class that you're in. So, I don't know. After I win this belt, what do I do? What what can I do? Do I just, you know, keep going in for title defenses all my life or what? But let me get back to the match. 
Take Rashad down to the ground. This is when I'm looking for the knockout right now. Now, I can tell you one mistake that he made. He let me get half guard, then let me get full mount all in one stomp. So you already know what it is, man. One, two, one, two, one, two. Mic check, y'all. <laughs> I checked his chin. That's all that mattered. That was a great match. Hey, Rashad, man, you still my idol, baby. But uh, thanks for the belt. <laughs> you feel me? We got a new champion, y'all. Let's get hype. Really ruthless oh. performance here. Got on top of him and just hammered him into submission. Look at it from this angle. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round, declaring La Gagnon and the winner by TKO. And now, the new UFC Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, David the King. The King has earned the crown. He's the new UFC champion. The UFC Hall of Fame honors men who gave something special to the sport. Men like Hoist Gracie, who brought jiu-jitsu to the masses, won three UFC tournaments, and went undefeated in his first 11 octagon fights. Dan the Beast Severn, who showed how truly dominant pure wrestling can be. Mark the Hammer Coleman, the first UFC heavyweight champion and the godfather of what is now known as Ground and Pound. Chuck the Iceman Liddell, the former light heavyweight champion who power punched his way to seven straight knockout victories from 2004 to 2006. And Matt Hughes the two-time welterweight champion who dominated the division for half a decade. You are among true legends of the sport. Congratulations on your induction into the UFC Hall of Fame. Okay, they put me in the Hall of Fame, but they don't make me the number one fighter of the year? Are you serious? Oh uh, man, UFC be tripping sometimes. But I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Also, I want to thank Skyzilla for letting me use this crazy beat. I hope y'all liked it. I hope y'all was bobbing y'all heads and stomping y'all feet. That's how you're getting it down. But wait for my next UFC video. No, I do not know when it is. When I pump it out, I guarantee you guys to know. This is IKC signing out. Like I said, again, thanks for watching. Let's get into this post roll, y'all.